Hi everyone, it's Gail and we are going to have a little what's on my desk day. I have a lot of things to finish up and thought I would just turn on the camera and have you help me. So uh, let's say hi and hugs first to Glynis, Joanne, Judy, and Lucy. Thank you so much for watching and your kind comments. Okay, so we left off with this, didn't we? So I wanted to show you, I got all of the, um, all of the rice paper labels all cut out. And as well, I got the ones from the paper that we did the other day. So I feel like I'm better stocked in my little labels. So that's happy. And I did find one that will go on this journal card. So let's do that first have that done um i did have a bit of curling with this and uh so let's see okay um so i put it under a heavy book and i will do that again once we put this on because it does kind of it does want to curl a little bit so that's okay we'll just take care of that with a with a heavy book Okay, so there's that little card. Those, those are fun. They're really grungy and very fun. These are the ones that I got on Amazon. So if you go over to my favorite things and put in the search something like um, handmade um, coffee dyed paper, it, it should come up. I think that's what I put in. Okay, get that, that's under heavy book, so that's good. Okay, so now, what else? Okay, I have this little piece that I wanted to put an owl on, so let's, let's first see if I have one that's already cut out, because I do have a few owls in here. Isn't this it? where? Yes. So, what is this guy? I'm wondering about him for the tag. Oh yeah, he could just go right on that tag and that would be great. Okay, so there's that. But what do we wanna do on the front of this? Got this cute little white owl, which I like because the background's so busy. Okay, so let's work with those. And I can put these back in my fussy cutting pile. Okay, so looks like I need to cut out his little, between his little claws here. So we'll do that first things first. So hope you're having a good Sunday. We will be watching volleyball yet again today and then heading home so i'm sure it will have been a lovely weekend for us we always love watching the grandkids do their thing you know so yeah and then so when this airs on sunday I will have, <laughs> we will come home. I will have two days to get packed for my friend Diane's retreat. Yikes. <laughs> I mean, I have all my kits ready. I do have that part, except for this one, which we're going to get ready today. Um, and yeah, so uh, yeah, I'll have two days to pull it together, make sure I don't forget glue and you know, all the things you don't want to forget. I basically pack up everything that's within my reach here pretty much. Not everything, but pretty close. So um, it's just getting out my totes and everything and figuring that out. And then I also need to get groceries for the dinner that I need to make. 
and snacks to share. That's what we do. We split up the on the anaconda retreat. We split up the cooking, and we um, and then we bring snacks for everybody to share, and then whatever bed beverages we want. Okay, I love that one just on that tag. No extra floofiness on this tag. I think I'm just going to put that owl there. And this will be great. I'll have one more pocket done for that. So let's just pop this on there. Yeah, so it's, it's going to be busy. So um, whether or not... In that week I do any other any other di um, videos I don't know <laughs> it's gonna depend on how much time I have he's so cute it's like he's kind of crouched down does he need something in back of him I kind of feel like he does but I don't really want to use book page what about Let's, about a little bit of this or something just to put back there I don't know I will see we'll see if we like this and if not you know I'll use it on something else just kind of raggedy it raggedy it up a little bit on the edges okay let's see let's see how you do No, I don't think that enhances it at all. So, what about like a long label or something? I'm wondering about one of one of my labels from my friend. Nope, not that one. This one, Pink Monarch. Let's see. Know, something like that yeah I like that I think she said as she changes her mind <laughs> oh goodness yes woman's prerogative as they say there you little mister go right like that there we go okay cool so that's that's done so what I have, I'll show you, put the lid on that for the moment, is, ooh. okay, I'm, I'm nearly ready to put this in its bag to go on one of the retreats. I'm not sure which. So this is the cover. Here is ephemera that's already made. I'm going to put a book plate on there. Okay, so that's the already made ephemera. This is the cutouts from the kit. And then I just didn't know if I might use any of these little bitty ones or something. So I'll put that in with it. I think I'm just going to put that in half. Okay, so that will go in its bag. This will go in its bag. But what we need is we need to put together the signature. And I have a few things I would like to put in. I did get this sewn in between times. So um, let's kind of see. Definitely not that one. Maybe this one. No, I think maybe this one is gonna be first. 
because look at the colors of that owl with that. Yes, so this is going to be the outside. Let's see if I can. I had to sew them together because they were printed just on white paper. And so I just took a page and sewed it together with another page along the way so that it would be, oh, that one didn't line completely up. Sometimes they don't. It's funny how that, and it's probably me putting them together more than the, than the printer or whatever. I guess there is a little, this one was definitely me putting it together because it was a little crooked, but it's easily fixed. Okay, so then which I think we'll have this one be the middle. So let's get this one done. And I'll show you some of the pages I'm thinking of for this. Okay, so this will fold this way so it's in the middle. So yes, once I get, get this kit put together, I can put it in its plastic bag and it will be off my desk, which will be super. I'm gonna do this one. Yeah. Oh, that one's a little off too. I just noticed right here. It's okay, I'll just trim them. Um, this is from, if you didn't see it when I was flipping around with that, um, I'm going to do it this way, um, is from Deb at Artsology, this kit. And it's the journal pages and then also the ephemera kit too, so... So this will be fun. Um, I don't know if I'm going to take it to this one, but I will definitely be taking it to the next retreat. I think. <laughs> I think. Okay. So that's five pages, and generally in a one signature journal, I have 15 pages, sometimes a few more if I get carried away, which happens. Okay, so I have these papers. These are the ones we did on Mixed Media Monday, and I'm thinking of definitely putting this one in there. So... I mean, I really love this one too, but this one I feel like I'm kind of wanting to hoard it. Okay, so anyways, I think this one, I do think I'm going to try and trim it down a little so it doesn't have that white space. It's just a fun, arty paper that I think would add something to this journal so okay and this how big is this it might be might be slightly big okay we're just going to trim this down a little bit I just want to make sure it's not hanging out Hanging out the sides or anything. Okay, so that's a good, almost a half an inch there. And then here, I'm just going to cut it off right about there. And I think that should be enough. Yeah, that should do it. Okay, so that one in there.
Um, I mean, I guess it would really kind of go with everything in here, wouldn't it? So we'll just put it in between the first pages just for fun. Okay, that, and then I wanted to do one of these. This is that watercolor coffee dyed kind of paper. I just think it's so cool and it's a really fun texture because it's handmade. So let's put that in there. I was thinking perhaps I've got these pages that are stamped. This one has um, pink on it, so I don't want to use it for this one. So I'll throw that over, but I think I might like to use this one. And I don't know what we'll do or what I'll do, I guess, to um, maybe I'll do something to kind of decorate it up a little bit. Okay, so then there's that. Okay, let's get out our pre-made pages and see if anything works in here. Okay, let's see here. Pre-made pages. Ooh, these would definitely go. This art paper. Ooh, yeah, that's going to be great. So we'll use that. Um, this has a bird on it, but it's not an owl. But it doesn't have to be all owls. That one could work. It's this one. Same. Um, we could use this collage page. I need to do some more of those. But that would be good. Oh, this would be good. This little nature-y one. Okay, let's see. I mean, actually, one of these gold ones would be kind of cool. Um, let's use one of Rhonda without an H, one of her pages. Got lots of ones with uh, ruffles on them. This one, particularly, it has, oops, it has um, leaves on it. This one could go. And do we have one that's up high? Let's see. Another one of those. Okay, let's do those three, maybe. Just to make sure there's nothing else in here we need. We'll thumb through a little bit. Okay, that's all ruffles. Okay, cool. All right, so I'm not sure how many that was, but it felt like a good handful. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And we've got 10, 11 with those. So we'll have 16 pages. So this will work. Let's do this thing. Okay, I think I want these in this order. So I'm going to get those in there first. Um,. So that one, and then towards the middle, this one, the middle of the signature, and then splitting the middle in between those two, we'll go with this one. I'm feeling like this could go fine here. have any of my pages that don't have anything in between no oh yeah no 
Okay. Okay. So let's see. This would be kind of cool here if I can get a hold of it. Yep. Oh my goodness. It drives me crazy when I can't grab something. Oh, yes, that's good. Okay. Here. Kind of like that there. Actually, this with the green would be nice there too. So let's put that there. Ooh, it's getting chunky. Okay, I feel like I need something there. So maybe we'll just go ahead and put this here. Between those two, I have three pages. Between those two, I have three pages. Between these two, I only have two pages. So let's pop this in there. Yeah, I think that's great. Okay, done and done. So I'll grab a bag and I'll show you. Talk amongst yourselves. Okay, I lied. Okay, I lied. I can't find my bags. They're around here somewhere. Anyway, I will put all of this together in a bag and that journal kit is ready to go. So I'm going to set that over on my other table. Hang on. But it's something off my desk. Yes. <laughs> okay, so that's done. Let's grab this stack of stuff because this has been sitting on my desk for a while okay all of these things okay oh I've had these I was mass making and I had some things to finish off decorating is what all this is so let's do it this think I was going to put her there. I was thinking these little people I could use. Maybe that there. This here. Could that go on the tag maybe? I don't know. These are all Mrs. Cog's images over on Mrs. Cog's crafts. So let's just let's just decorate this up. All of this is gonna bug me. So we're gonna set it back over here and we'll just work our way through it. Okay. I feel like I already did one of these for the Mrs. Cog's journal I'm doing. But if not, then, okay, let's see if this will, I think it will, I think it will. Just need to cut it right about here. Well, thanks for helping me clear off my desk. It was, you know, there reach, reaches a, a critical mass point where it's just like, okay, I can't, I can't do this anymore. I just, I just need to tidy up. Yeah, that leaves a tiny little margin or edge, but that's it. So that'll be cute on there. Um, yeah, and it was to that point. I was just like, oh. Part of it is I've been <laughs> trying so hard to make videos ahead that I'm not doing my usual cleanup in between as well as I normally do. But 
I normally do it because otherwise my space bugs me and then nothing kills creativity quicker than having your space bug ya. Okay, cool. Let's do this thing. And I mean, if this one doesn't go, I mean, if I already have one for the Mrs. Cog's journal, this will go cute in any journal, really. So, super cute. Okay, and then I'm gonna put that on the tag. And then I think I'd like a little one of Mrs. Cog's definitions down at the bottom if I have one that will fit. Okay. And let's see. So that one can go here. And then she is going to go like right about there. She's very cute. I mean, you could use this to write on too. I don't know. Personally, I kind of like it decorated. So I think I will put her there. Could always write around her, <laughs> right in a little circle. Okay, there's that side, and then this side. Oh, look, I have more than I guess these were the ones I thought could could maybe work. This one's really cute too, but I don't think so for this. I'm gonna put that on there, but I think I want some particular lace. One second. Okay, I'm gonna put this lace down the middle, I think. that. Yep. I'm going to put that lace in my in my bucket there cuz that bucket will be going with me to the retreat. Might as well start kind of thinking ahead and get a little bit organized, huh? Since I'm not going to have a whole lot of time to ponder on what it is I'm taking and that kind of stuff. Okay. Might have to do a little cleaning on my art glitter glue prior to going also. Yep. Just making sure I get the right, the correct side. Okay, and then that will be cute. I had all these, um, you know, these little ephemera pieces made and it's like there is no room in my to-do box not a single bit of room it is full so I'm definitely taking that as well and in between making all the journals I want to make hopefully I'll get to do a couple pieces of ephemera out of there 
Yeah. Okay, so there is that. Here is this. I think that's cute, just like that, really. And then let's see if there's a little kind of um, not too wide. Well, a lot of them are wide. See, they're this size, which isn't going to work. That's cute. Okay, let's do that. Everything has beauty, but not everyone sees it. That's the truth. I um, I struggle a little bit to see the beauty in bugs. Not going to lie, I do. But I kind of have in the back of my mind doing a bug journal. Just because I think it would be good for me since I'm not a bug fan. Maybe it would make me a bug fan. Okay. So we'll just put that right there. I guess in the middle. Okay. Let's put that in the middle. Let me move it up a little. And I'm wondering if I have a small flower that would kind of go on there. Let's see. I mean, that would be cute. I just need to find here this one. It's got a little orange on it and everything. Okay. Little flowers from Char's Crafty Shop. They do come in handy. All right. Okay, so we finished that. That's good. Better check my time, make sure. Oh, yeah, we're good. Okay, so that's all good. And this needs to go back in Mrs. Cogs. So tuck that in there. Okay, what's going on here? Oh, yeah. I am in the process of fussy cutting these from chapter one. No. Is that who this is from? No, these are artsology. These, this, I'm done with. Okay, good. Oh, you know what I was thinking with that? Dig it back out of the garbage. As I was thinking about make you know, collaging it, making it a journal card putting a label over that or something. That's why that was there. Okay, so this can go in the done pile. Yay. Um, I think I'm going to put that underneath uh, the heavy book too because it's wanting to curl as well. Guys, just chill out under there. Okay. Um, I wonder if I have like a big label I could just pop in the middle of that. I know I have them, but I just don't know. How cute is that? Yes, indeed. Glad I didn't throw that away. Recycling at its best. That's what we do. Oh, look at how cute that is. Let's give it a little distress. And that will be a fun little double journal card. Which is going to need to go under the heavy book too because I can already feel it starting to... It's, Starting to curl. Okay. Well, the rain we were supposed to get today did not 
up here. Story of our lives he, these days. Ugh. Drought conditions, for sure. So, um, okay, that's done. So, yeah, okay, let's look at what's here. Um, blah, 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 blah. I got a whole bunch of tags and journal cards. I made these over on Patreon. Um, so, we might just see if we can decorate those. This feels like too big of a job to take on. This is an envelope from, um, this is from chapter one. That's probably the other reason I had that. So I think we might just decorate that guy just to be clipped in, I think, is what I would want. To do with that so I am going to just glue and glue here 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 and here glue that together okay um And it's got these fun little labels that go with it as well. Like you could put a label there. And this is like the return address. <laughs> I mean, You know what I think I'll do is put those labels on and I'm going to put this in my envelopes in my finished ephemera and then if there's a journal with these colors in it or whatever I can grab this and see if there's some ephemera from that particular journal kit that would go with this. That's what I'm going to do. The file it in the done pile. That pile is not over full right now. Okay, so I'm going to call that done so it can go off my desk. Where's all my done things? They're over here. Getting flat. Okay, before doing those, See, took my time. Oh gosh, only 15 minutes left. This hour has flown. So I have my little, my little this, my little um, cover. I wanted to see if I could, I know it's dry now. See, that's why I don't like things on the edge. which you might have re recalled me saying, don't get any of the collage too close to the edge. That's why, because then it, then it tends to flip up on you. There's my Kello. Okay. So this needs to be um, distressed, and then it will be ready for for the um, Mod Podge. But that's how it's gonna be with this kind of wrapped around. And it's not perfect because the box is not perfect, but to me that adds to the, I love how that ended up right in the middle, that true. Okay, so I just wanna kinda take a look at that. I won't distress it here because that's not that much fun to watch. Let's look at these. So let's look at this one. So what these are is, let me grab this little card, is a three pocket journal card 
and a three pocket tag. And I made these over on Patreon, used up a whole um, 12 by 12 piece of paper. So, so I won't go into how you make them because that was for the Patreon folks. Okay, let's look at these though. So I could see a label there. I don't know here. Um, again, some... I don't know some lace might be nice if there's some that's kind of like this one looks about the right size yeah I'm gonna put that down each side of that yeah these are cool I love these I think they're really fun okay um Except I want this to go this way so the words go the right way. Even though I'm covering them mostly up. Okay, and then I'm wondering if we want to do the tag the same. So, it's been a lovely day of crafting today. Got a couple of videos done. I can't seem to get more than a week ahead, though. So, once again, we may be missing a few videos down the line here. Will that work here? Just right on that edge, it would. Okay, I like that, too. So, yeah, so just FYI, I'm, I'm fine. I'm just super busy with grandkids and retreats for about a month. And um, a reminder, too, for those with Etsy shops that I won't, I won't be getting my Etsy shares done in a timely manner either. So I'll, I'll do them when I have a bunch of stuff. And time to video. <laughs> There's a couple of things there. So. So it'll just be a little different routine than we're used to for a little bit here. But just know I'm having fun and that I hope you are too. Whilst I'm, whilst I'm away a little bit, I hope you're having a good time crafting and stuff. It's been a long time since we were completely responsible for one of the grandkids. Kind of makes me nervous, but it'll be okay. Only on the fact that, you know, <laughs> we're getting old and tired. <laughs> okay. Okay, so we have lace on that. I love that. Let's do this one. Looks like as well, I need to... Oh, I know what I did as I was making these on Patreon. I only, um, I only just stressed the, where the pocket was going to be because I thought I could do that later. <laughs> so... Have you been watching any of the craziness with Johnny Depp and his ex-wife? Gosh, there's tons of videos on YouTube about that. It's just like, wow. I don't know. I've watched a couple snippets, but I just, it's too much drama for me. So I haven't really watched too much of it. And, you know, 
watching snippets of it. I have no opinion because I, I'm not qualified. I haven't, I don't know the, I haven't been watching the whole thing. I, it just amazes me though, the interest that something like that stirs up. Okay. So like, I almost don't feel like this needs a whole lot more, but, and yet I don't feel like it's done either. Maybe, what about, I mean, whatever's in the pocket is going to kind of decorate that. I'm thinking about maybe some bling down the middle of the lace or something. No? That's a thought, though. Actually, nope, that won't go in because it's too big. Yeah. So I'm going to have to find some fun things for those. I think some, some Tim Holtz people might be fun too. I don't, I want to keep this more, um, oh, what would you say? A little more springy, summery, garden-ish. Let's just see what something might look like. Like I have this that does not want to untangle. Oh, isn't that pretty? Yeah, I do like that. And since it's a journal card, it can come out. So I think I'll put that on the front. And I don't know what on the back. This I'm counting as the front of this card. Too. I don't know. Pocket on the right seems like the right thing to me. Well, isn't that handy? Three left. So that's a good, it's a good number. Okay. Let's put those on. We may only get one of these done, but at least... At least we will have gotten one done. Okay. I'm going to get all full of Fabri-Tac. But it'll be worth it because I think that's really fun. Okay. That's pretty. Oh, so pretty. Okay. Okay. All right. Well, that's fun. Um, let's look in my little use it up bin here and see if there's anything we think looks good tucked in the pockets of these. There's lots of lots of stuff in here. Ooh, roses. Yes. Perfect. That looks perfect in there. Um, it's kind of get through. That's like a that's pretty. Okay. Then there's pockets in the back too so we keep looking okay nothing really there wondering Hmm. 
things but they're too small this is pretty I wonder if we could put that in there it's more or less just to let just to know that there's a pocket there but I think I'll put that and maybe like one other sort of more neutral sort of thing or something. So that like that. And then I wonder, there's a couple of more neutral things here. Maybe that. Put that in there as well. It means once these are all stuffed and everything, we're going to say they are done. Now, if this journal card doesn't fit in a pocket in your journal, you can always clip it in too. So that's cute there. We need something to go in the big pocket, which wondering about one of these from Triple V Vintage. I'd have to cut it down a bit, which is fine. So we'll cut that. Finish this one up and then we better be done for the day, I think. Oh yeah, that's super fun. Okay, so that one's all done, all filled and everything. This one needs needs a bit more. A little playing card maybe? I think that's fun. And then we need something for in the tag. I don't know. If I cut this down a little bit. I mean, it fits perfect. Oops. Oops. <laughs> okay. Let me cut that down a little bit, and I think that would work. Doesn't look like it was cut all that well by this girl in the first place. So just going to go up against... pattern. I'm doing this way too so it'll go in easier. Now might need a tab. I don't know. Just some fun kind of eclectic pieces. Nope, it sticks out enough that it doesn't need a tab. Well isn't that fun? Yay, so those pieces are done. Let's see how our smash flat pieces are doing. This is good, ready to be. This is good. I should have done the back too. Okay, that's super cute. Now actually, that would go in one of these too, wouldn't it? Yeah, it would. So, what else do we have here? Let's let's put it. I'm gonna put it in here in this one, and we'll just know we already have we already have the insides of that one. Yay! Okay, and then we did we did this little one. This was from the day before, but we put the label on it. So there we go, and we got our um, signature ready for the owl journal. So 
I'm feeling pretty good. I appreciate you helping me get all this done. Let's see. And I think we're about right close to time. So thanks everybody so much. I hope you've had a great weekend. Have a grateful day and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.